What's up, nerds? Welcome to NGR's B-Sides. This is our little YouTube segment going up on Thursdays. This is our debut episode. Happy New Year, everybody. I got Matt and Moose with me. Guys, yeah. Happy New Year. For this debut episode, I just want to ask you guys, what do you want from 2018 in gaming? Oh, geez, in gaming. Kind Moose, of a you have, any, you, you have many ideas? I want well, I know two. I know two of Moose's answers. I'm just going to answer for him. Uh, he wants Vita Chasm. No, he wants Chasm, and he wants Death's Gambit. That's two. I thought you were going to say Death Stranding. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'll play that. I, I You know, uh, I love Metal Gear Solid, the first one, you know, on PSX. Love that game. Metal Gear Solid 2 is good. Never, never really played through 3, and then 4, I never had a PS3 to play for, and so... Um, but yeah, I'll I'll play that. I'll play Death Stranding. I have no problem playing it. I just my problem is like everybody knows how Kojima likes to fuck with people, and and mm -hmm. it's just like just stop trying to figure out what it is. Just let it be. Watch it if you want to play it. Play it like it looks freaking weird, but I'm kind of excited about that. What's there's nothing wrong with weird, you know. And if he executes properly, and all of a sudden it turns out to be kind of like a Stranger Things. Or, Spoiler alert, where there's like an upside down world or some kind of like alternate, you know, dimension that you're in doing this stuff. Like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. And I think that'd be awesome. You know, an explosion goes off and it causes a tear in, you know, in time or whatever, space and time. Like, that would be pretty badass. Yeah, so, I agree. Um, I'm, I'm pumped for it. I'm just fine with not hearing about it until he's like, you know, E3 and he's like, or PSX. And he's like, oh, it comes out in six months or, you know what I mean? So. Um, yeah. but yeah, that's definitely Death Gambit Chasm. <laughs> looking forward to those. I am looking forward to, um, if you're listening that to this, dead horse can, to the point of disrespect, <laughs> you can check it. You can check out, uh, NGP's, uh, challenge for 2018 episode. <laughs> we talk about our 20 games that we're going to be playing in 2018. And so I got a bunch of games to beat. You got a busy 2018. I got a busy 2018, and that's not including, like, new games. So then, <laughs> you know, I want to play the God of War game. I wanna, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to Spider-Man. I'm looking forward to some, like, surprise hits, too. Uh, From Software's got something up their sleeve. Uh, Code Vein looks great, so I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Um, so I think – and then I just read somewhere there was an article where the director or – president of uh was it team ninja that did neo they were saying that they want to expand on neo like they want to make it larger so they were you know they, they were like you know stay tuned there will be soon there will be news soon so i was like that's pretty exciting maybe more dlc mm -hmm. maybe like you know maybe a sequel because they have a pretty good engine and they could refine things and maybe take the story somewhere else and in like in another year or two release like a pretty good sequel so um, that would be awesome. But other than that, 2018, I'm just, I want to complete more games. I need to put down Bloodborne. That's why we did the challenge. So uh, it's it's going to be fun. I got a lot of good games on there. I got a lot of quick games, but I also got a lot of, uh, I was it's looking at list, our, man. Well, but I was looking at our list and Jeff and Jason have some games they can play on their Vita. And I didn't, uh -huh. I didn't get any Vita games. Like I put a bunch of indie games on there, stuff that was on the Vita that I could play on the Vita as well. And they didn't pick any of that. And so, but if you look at their list, they have a lot. They've got like Dragon's Dogma. They've got Final Fantasy 15, which I also have. They've got, I mean, they've got a bunch of games. Jason had the Bioshock collection as one of his games. That's three games in one. Yeah. So it's, it's going to be insane or interesting to see if we can reach the end of the year next year without having to pay each other, like having to pay out. See who, who doesn't have to pay out, but... Right. Um, what are you looking forward from forward to from 2018, Matt? Um, I mean, I, well, uh, there's a lot I'm looking forward to. I'd like to hear more information on From's new game, just because they kind of have my heart in a special way. Um, I'm excited to hear more about Bayonetta three. Um, I'm yeah, excited. To, I'm excited to play Bayonetta one and two again. Um, and. I'm actually finding I'm finding myself more interested in games on Switch. Um, not necessarily like you know seeing everything come out and 
no, why isn't there a Switch version? Because that's right. That's, that's fucking dumb. Um, but like, I'm sort of watching for uh, older games to get Switch, Switch release. Switch games, and I'm fully, I am fully into the idea of the Switch being my indie machine. Um, I think, I think you and I are in the same boat with that, simply because I look at smaller games. Uh, I mean, some of the like Death Gamma and Chasm, I will buy on PS4 first, even if they sure. announce like Chasm, because Chasm is going to be built on the same engine that it was uh, for uh, Vita. Mm-hmm. So, like, they use the same engine that they used to port Axiom and Verge over, so they could yeah. put Chasm on Switch. I'll still buy it on PS4 first, but it would be awesome to have on Switch to play. But I agree with you, like, looking at games and saying, oh, like, there's a Switch version for that. Maybe I'll pick it up on the Switch. You know, for two reasons. One, because I can play it on the go, and I can, I play it at work actually, mm-hmm. because it's a system that's playing new, that's putting out newer games. Like if the Vita was able to handle newer games and was still putting games on it, I'd just play my Vita. Yeah. And then my second reason is there's no fucking trophy, so I can just play the game and enjoy it. But true. Anyways, true. I digress. Um, I'm also looking forward to, and I'm just gonna say it. 2018 is not going to be 2017 in terms of games. Um, I'll say that flat out. 2017, uh, it was a mofo of a year. Um, And I didn't really know just how much of a year it was to me until I made my top 10 list. Um, And it... I looked at like how many I had. I mean, well, I had ten, uh, but then I looked at how many honorable mentions and how many were, how many games that I just missed because there were just so many things coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, 2017 was a cool year, and uh, there I don't think to that I don't think we're gonna get a uh, a repeat of that success, which is a good thing because the backlogs um, grew in 2017. Mm-hmm. without question and i'm looking forward to tackling some of if not a lot of that i've been pretty good at tackling my backlog year on year but when i buy like a a, a rather old game like um like for instance i i picked up dragon's dogma dark arisen uh that is a game that dr blood souls has told me i should play and that i will love if i play it uh, he's been telling me that since before dark souls 2 came out because no, that game came. Uh, no, I think it was right after two, before three. Well, it was, it was, it was around that time when he and I were yeah. still. I mean, three had yeah. not been out. Bloodborne was not out yet, and um, we were playing Dark Souls two, like Moose plays Bloodborne, um, yeah. and so I'm looking forward to finally getting around to it. And you know, I I also want to expand my gaming horizons a little bit not necessarily like i I actually want to play more board games in 2018 um i've been doing that a lot lately and i've been finding that there are a lot of really really cool board games and luckily i have uh, a girlfriend who is receptive to that so nice hopefully i will i will get it i will get a little I, i will get a little more actual reality in, in in my gaming, which is cool. I thank you, Archer. <laughs> he agrees with you. <laughs> uh, Corey, Corey, what are you? Looking answer for? your own damn question. Uh, I don't know. I have man backlog. Game. I want to get through some games that I missed this year because, I mean, twenty seventeen was like a beast, an amazing year for games. Like I didn't, I haven't played. Neo, I haven't played Persona 5, and I haven't played Nier. Those are the three big ones that I like. I really want to play more more Persona and Neo than Nier, but everybody's been saying, like, oh, you're going to play Nier. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I'll yeah. try it. Yeah. Uh, Despite but, the weirdness of all of those titles, I think Nier might be the one you get through easier. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, big time. <laughs> I agree with that statement. Yeah, uh, but... And, I don't really know what I want, man. I just want another good year of games. Like, if we have a year that's like a quarter good as 2017 was, like, I don't know. I'm really that's a good for, time. 
I'm really looking forward to God of War. I'm looking forward to Fire Emblem, like a proper Fire Emblem on Switch. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to Spider Man. I'm. Do you do you think uh, announcement of virtual console will cause anxiety? Oh my in gosh. Your- gameplay yeah. on switch like, honestly I, just like a, a flood of games that you want to play so it's like i want to play this i want to play this so you're just kind of like anxious to try and you know yeah. what i mean yes and no i mean like the thing about virtual console games is like i've played 90 percent of those games before so like i'll only buy it if i really feel like i want to play that game right away or like you know i'll buy the ones that i know i want to have in like a collection or whatever if they're for sale like they normally are unless they do that netflix type thing and i'll just be like okay well i'll just pay the 20 bucks a year or whatever it is Mm -hmm. i think uh uh, like i think it would be cool i was thinking about that i'm not like matt was saying like games coming out and being like why isn't this on switch i approach the virtual console like yeah that'd be an awesome amount announcement of e3 if it happens i'm pumped for it but i'm not gonna sit here and have expectations. I'm just going to have low expectations. It's not even happening. I've, I've already got enough to play on my yeah. Switch. I've and got, then there's games coming out next year. So it's like, if you add Virtual Console, I'll tell you right now what I'll buy. I'll buy probably all the Metroids that they put out. Metroid 1, 2, you know, Super Metroid. I'd buy the Castlevanias. Rebuy those if they do. I'd, put, I'd buy the Marios. I haven't. It's been a long time since I touched a side-scrolling Mario, like old school. Like, I played New Super Mario on... Um, the uh the what was it? no the one before that it was on the handheld it was at the 3ds DS. or the ds that was the ds yeah it was on yeah i played that and i loved it so i would love to go back and just play one again two three like three was awesome but i think uh i think those games would be cool but i'm not gonna like try and dig deep and be like i'll play you know like well i would play kick kid icarus but like so you know what i mean yeah. something obscure off the wall is what I'm talking about. They could put it on there for the people that want it, but I'm just going to play like the greatest hits and then, you know, keep rolling with new stuff. Yeah. I'm, like, Oh, sorry, man. So, uh, well, I just wanted to sort of dovetail. Like I've been looking at a lot of these, like I've been, I've been going to giantbomb.com cause they're, they're doing their big game of the year thing. It's not know, quite it's so finished good. yet. Um, and I, and I like looking at, I like, I like how they get like just a, a, a huge swath of people to just do their 10 games of the year or however many they decide to talk about, yeah, but they the also do that. My invite. <sighs> huh? I mean, you know, for my invite, <sighs> when, well, hopefully one day we'll get there. I mean, I, I, I bother Alex Navarro every year on Twitter and he, he never responds, but, he, <laughs> get here there. um, but, uh, I've been, I, I've seen those like Nintendo cartridges that are coming out of like the data East Mm-hmm. things and i'm sitting there thinking yeah i'd like to play bad dudes i'd like to play burger time again but really am i going to do that yeah, yeah i mean like yeah you would like to but do you yeah. really want exactly to? am right. i am i really gonna right. do that like there's only like, ones like i will honestly play like super mario world but to be, you know, to be fair like, like that so to be, to be fair like a link to the past is different is so much more different than like bad dudes <laughs> oh yeah no i mean but, but like you know but like i love i loved those games when i played them originally i used to play burger time in the arcade and that game was great. Bad dudes into a link to the past oh there we go there we go yeah. now we're now now we're talking that would be a weapon you switch to that'd be that'd be that'd be, that'd be, that'd be zelda bad dudes adventures bad adventures of blink i don't know um but i'd <laughs> also like I'd also pl- like if if they really doubled down on GameCube Virtual Console. Oh, you know I'm playing Eternal Darkness again. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, um, yeah, I mean, that's, and- a, that's the one thing is like GameCube Virtual Console. Like, look, I have I've bought. I'd play the Metroid Prime games again. I don't know if I'd go back to like Super Metroid because I actually. Well, I still think they're going to release a trilogy. They are going to release a remastered if they're doing it with Bayonetta. You know they're going to play Metroid Prime. I hope so. And like, look, I have I have so many games from my Wii that I transferred over to my Wii U. I have the Super Nintendo Classic. I have the NES Classic. Like, you don't need those games. I don't really need those games. But like GameCube, right. the two systems I'm really looking forward to if they do Virtual Console next year are N64 and GameCube. And it's like, you know, I I love the GameCube so much. And like the rumor that, or it's not really a rumor that. Nvidia Shield is is doing 1080p 
uh, widescreen versions of GameCube games for China on the NVIDIA Shield. And it's like, well, I want those. Like, yeah. I really want those. So, like, I don't know. I'm sure we'll get some sort of GameCube virtual console in the near future. I just, like, you know. I'd like I hope, to know what. I want to know yeah. what virtual console is before I definitively say, look, this is what I want to do with my virtual console stuff. Right. Right. Uh, but at the same time. I'd like time, to play Luigi's Mansion again. Yeah. I'd like to play it, period. <laughs> That's like, that game's, awesome. that game's, that game's super underrated. What an incredible launch game that game was. And like, like Everything the GameCube had on it, everybody hated because it wasn't the sequel to the N64 version. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. But, like, looking back on all that stuff, everybody loves it now. And it's like, yeah. look, we got we got a weird Mario game. We got Luigi's Mansion. We got Pikmin. We got the Resident Evil remakes. We got uh, mm-hmm. Resident Evil 4. We got... Metroid uh, Prime, Eternal Darkness. <laughs> Yeah, uh, arguably the one of the best Mario Karts, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't get, I'm not. I'm not on board with that. I'm just not. It's okay to be wrong, Matt. I mean, that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> sure been wrong before. I'll be wrong again. Um, but I was wrong earlier today. But, but <laughs> so, but I just look. I'm just looking forward to like playing. Uh, my New Year's resolution is the same, right? Is to complete more games, play play more of less, which I think I did a pretty good job this year considering a new console came out. I was pretty restrictive on the games I bought really yeah. for that thing. Uh, you know, that's I'm just kind of looking forward to an, uh, another good year of games and another year of NGR Radio and another year of hanging out with, with you guys. Or, Likewise, unless you replace me, then it'd be all right. We can't replace you. You're the you're the you're, you're like the runner of everything. You can you're totally like, just you, cut us out and be like, "It's my yeah. own show, motherfuckers!" And we yeah, like, we can't like, do anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's a difference. People like you, you guys. Ah, uh, that's not true. Yeah. That's a lie. I mean, I mean don't, they're, you, they're, don't you soil my reputation? In there are three life. people I know that like me: you two and Reba. My family's questionable. Yeah, <laughs> like, I think four. I think. I mean, I, th- I you know I think Phillips likes. I you know I will say this: Phillips likes me. Yeah, yeah, Phillips well, likes me. You know, according to end of the year analytics of NGR Radio, eleven thousand one hundred and three people liked us I, at some point this past year. So nice. Thanks, That's Corey's mom. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Sana. <laughs> thanks, thanks, mom, for telling all your friends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, my mom's is- broadcasting this on Friendster. <laughs> yeah, MySpace <laughs> video player. <sighs> sure. Uh, but anyways, this has been NGRB sides. This is our YouTube segment. Uh, I didn't mention that at the top of the show. This is a segment that's only on YouTube to hold you over until you can take us with you on Mondays at 10 a.m. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at NGR radio podcast, download our family of shows. And until next week, we love you. B side Nana and out. <laughs>